G'day guys, Neil here. Welcome back to Challenger 4 Drive and we are on the south coast of New South Wales. Why are we here? Well, we had to deliver a package on Friday afternoon, so we decided to make a weekend of it. On the Saturday, we did all the usual tourist things around Mollymook and Dulladulla. And then on the Sunday, we went inland and drove out to Shallow Crossing to check out the campground there. We turned off the Princess Highway at Boarding House Road into South Broome and State Forest and then started heading southwest yes. towards the Clyde River. That's some bikey gang. They've all got the fourth on the back of their shirt, so I don't know. I never heard of them, but geez, there's a lot of them past us. Would be about 40, 50 bikes so far. Ingold's Knob Lookout. Never heard of it. Our first stop is Ingold's Knob Lookout, which is up a short four-wheel drive track and has views towards the coast. There is a view to the coast, but it's kind of obscured by the trees mainly. Uh, not bad though. Slightly rough four-wheel drive track to get up here, but nice view. So we turned off from Old Boarding House Road onto the sheep track. Lucky it's not a goat track. It's not too bad actually. Quite well uh, maintained I'd say. As you're making your way towards the river, you'll go past this old Land Rover. We are going to be crossing the Clyde River, and this river is unique. It flows 100 kilometres, rising in the Budawang Mountains. So it starts in a pristine wilderness, and then it winds its way through three national parks and 10 state forests before it reaches the sea at Batemans Bay. There's no industry pollutants, there's no sewerage. This is a pristine Aussie river. Looks like there's a bit of a hairpin bend and then the river. Well, we've reached the crossing and it's a tidal crossing. From my calculations, low tide is this afternoon, so this should be a falling tide. I've never been here before, so when I saw the vehicles, I thought they were parked waiting for low tide. So we pulled in behind them, only to find out that the locals set up marquees and cool off on hot summer days in the river. So this is a quintessentially Aussie site.
The campground is on the other side, so we cross the causeway and have a look. As you can see, it's a hot weekend and this is a very popular place. There's private camping in shallow crossing camping ground on both sides of the road. By the way, the sign says Big G's 40th is on this side. Okay. Good on you, Big G, whoever you are. Happy birthday, many happy returns. I bet it was pretty rowdy. Okay, so we are retracing our steps across the river, but there's one last surprise for us. I see what I think is a small stick, but it's actually a blue tongue skink, sunning itself in the middle of the track. I do an emergency stop, hoping I don't hit him. And when I pull back, he's still sitting there unfazed. He's not moving, he doesn't care. Go on, buddy. Go on, you gotta go. This is the old Prince's Highway. So this must be the original route, eh? From uh, down south. So it won't be 20 minutes. Okay, one last thing. The next morning we were up to watch the sunrise over Ulladulla Harbour, and it was worth the early start. Just waiting for the sun to come up. So please enjoy these pictures. Thanks again for watching, and I might see you out in the tracks. Till then, cheers. <laughs>